Hey guys, Saseni, what's up my people, mkwaje? How are you guys doing more hotter? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, karibu sana. If you are returning subscriber, thank you for always clicking on this channel with an intention of what? Growing this channel. Sindio? Thank you guys. So today, we have, um, they say an amazing, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, we have a little video, guys. Um, I know you guys can already tell from the title, <laughs> title of the video. And oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to share this video, guys. So it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, kuna day tumenda market na yangu. So when we were there at the market, like it was my first time going to that market like i had never gone there before so like we just bought stuff and stuff and such excuse me and saya kuenda my friend was like hey there's this shortcut we can use instead of any to mingia so kondani sana instead of rudevo vyote let us just uh kuna shortcut i can show you and water ujui area poa and who's wambo nikasema sawa so we went ah uh, tukafika place ingine tumeacha njia sasa ya nini njia ya lami <laughs> tukaanza kuingia chumchumu hivi sasa sita mention ni market gani so kabla tufike nje nje ya chum we met uh, wanaume kadhaa my boy my youth walikuwa wamesimama kwa barabara and then they were like salimia nini nini and then kawaida tu ya maboy and then we just left like to, they just said hi we lengad and tukaenda so tukikwai tukiwai hiyo chuma ikuwa na wase wengi tukaenda we were just making stories and stuff and all of a sudden nikasikianse aminishika hivi shati na ukunyoma nikashindwa ni nandi Ami nikaangalia kongalia nyuma niko na wale maboy tuliopita huko like i counted hiyo tu madakika there were seven guys so mmoja venye alinishikilia hivyo akasema walikumbe walikuwa walikuwa wezi wakatuambia tulete everything we have so the wakaanza kutu yani kutuperemba they start, start, started hey english this the english is not the tongue of my mouth sorry guys <laughs> but we try regardless so at that moment i was confused i didn't know what to do wakaanza kutu search everywhere so walikuwa wengine wana search beshte yangu beshte yangu ni them i didn't say so wakaanza wengine wakaanza kuni search they took my phone um the money we had and then sasa tulikuwa tumetoka soko we had bought us some groceries clothes and stuff zikamwogo chini because walikuwa maybe wana think kuna dogs zenye tumeficha kwa hiyo kwa hizo bag so they searched everywhere na kwambia unaingizwa mkono guys tulifanywa mbaya it was so bad so so bad like they were searching you everywhere na wezi kata cause you didn't know walikuwa na weapon gani so nikuvumilia tu search you everywhere mi by the way sikusumbua best yangu nilikuwa naona nangangana but me was like confused let's say i didn't know what to do nilikuwa nimesimama tu and then there's a guy mwenye sasa nakumbuka alinisalimia before wakutufikie hapa alikuwa amevaa t-shirt ya white so ile ku, ile ile style wale to search nayo ngozi kararuka like top yangu kararuka ya best yangu si sana cuz alikuwa amevaa t-shirt and i was in a chiffon uh, top so ilikuwa rahisi ku ili ni ya nini patterns mbele so ili did, did, did i just say patterns eh hey, guys eh hey, 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 hey. rest in peace english anyway ilikuwa na patterns mbele so ika ika raruka so singe za tembea hivyo so when you like to search wase wakaanza kupita pita wase wengi like wakaanza ku come close to where we were hiyo barabara they left 
So wakienda ule chali alikuwa amevaa t-shirt ya white sajai msahau. Alienda kaangalia nyuma kaona ni the moment they left me nikaina machini. But I didn't want to scream. Au alienda nataka ku scream. Wakaanza kurusha mawe. But me I didn't want to scream. Nilikuwa ile shocked. I didn't know what to do. So ule chali wa t-shirt ya white. Hey, I've said so many times about him. Akanitolea t-shirt akanirushia. Kanimbia dress up and leave na msi scream so mimi nikavatisha taraka raka tukachukua staff zetu zenye zilikuwa hapo chini kama kie vitu zingine tukacha juu ya kustuka and we left guys so hapo mimi sikulia phone yangu imeenda yake imeenda some cash but hapo sikulia <laughs> wacha saa tusonge na hizo premises kita nini mbele kiasi i started telling my friend my friend excuse me nikaanza kumuuliza hapa kuna police station like me i just want to to report this guy hawezi to be hivi mimi sizibi wa hivi mimi akisi sizibi wa hivi lazima ni report i just nikaji chocha venye mimi sijui nini sizibi hivyo rais Nairobi and stuff kuna mbele beshi yangu akaniambia haya ndio police station yani hiyo njia tu seti tulienda police station kuna hiyo kitu hapo beshi yangu akaniambia ndio hiyo enda ka, ka report and then there was uh, an old man up kwa gate akaniambia msichana ni nini mbaya nikamwambia mi tumebiwa phone ni nini nini akatuambia he hata ukikuja kusema hapo utasema nani amekuibia unajua majina but kwa hiyo rende there was a guy na kam Somalish alikuwa amefura uso nilisikia kitwa jina fulani hapo i won't say but sijui kama maybe nilikuwa zangu but of course hawezi enda ku report mtu kama huyo kwa sababu ujui hata nini place wana stay nini nini hakuna venye ningesaidika so nika realize later nilikuwa tu yani so, ile kujichocha yenye uwezi penda uibiwe mna get I went home. Sikulia. Na wengi na kuanga ka emotional. Sikulia. Nikafika kwa nyumba. Nikaoma jirani simu huko tu kwa beshte yangu sasa. Hiyo ni mtaa ya beshte yangu. Sio sio nilikuwa nimeenda kutembea. <laughs> unaelewa? Mnaelewa? So beshte yangu nika nikaomba jirani wake simu. A lady, I called my mom. <laughs> Like when any, whenever something happens to me, I always call my mother. Nika called mom nika wambia, kumenda hivi na hivi and she was like, umeumizwa? Are you guys hurt? Nika wambia no. But hey, emotionally mom, I'm hurt. My phone is gone. And some money, in yata siku mind, cause I think it was just less, less than a thousand bob. So, my mom akaniambia too sorry and nisijali sijakatwa mikono I'm working I'll get a new phone <laughs> yeah and that was it but hey guys hey, moral of the story sometimes to ni poa ku avoid chumze nye haujui cause me I just thought ni place safe later on bestie wangu kanimbe kumekonga na hizi cases nini nini but hata alikuwa mikavia kupita hiyo shortcut and it was hard to avoid yo barabara kabisa hata next time akiwa peke yake mika siko she should in the start barabara so guys tunafaa kuwa careful eh hey, barabara ujui he avoid avoid <laughs> let around the nilikuwa naona venye ilikuwa funny like eh hey. oh my god unaraliwa nguo unaibiu it was bad ni venye ni kitambo that is why when i'm saying it i'm even laughing about it cause it's been long and i've always wanted to talk about it as in just like to create awareness cause it's easy to happen sindio wadau like what on ibiwa but kat tunajua hivyo ni poa to avoid such um roads zenye tunajua si safe yani where we can avoid we can avoid kuibiwa it's good we do avoid sindio like si ati umekutwa na mseko wa nyumba ni wewe umepita barabara yenye ni risky yeah it's good uh, to be aware of such sindio so that was it from my story and um, yeah god is amazing later on nikapata simu nyingine and that was it that was it but nililearn a lot a lot guys
okay guys thank you so much for watching my video to the end um if you haven't subscribed please what are you waiting for please consider subscribing to my channel like this video comment share but they leave um uh, uh, if you've ever been robbed or uh, a friend or you've heard about such um, cases can you leave uh, your comment in the comment section and yeah and also the kind of videos you guys want me to upload yeah so thank you so much for watching I'm so happy you watched to the end of the video yeah when I'm true and I love you I appreciate I appreciate so much guys to grow yeah I'm sure slow but sure you know <laughs> anyways guys bye until next time adios <laughs>